corn insecticides at planting time. You know, I talked to some of the big ag chemical manufacturers five or six years ago and they said, well, rootworm trait is coming and there are all these BT traits. And so we're just kind of giving up on the insecticide market. And I said, really? Well, You're not, giving up. Not just chemical manufacturers, equipment manufacturers. All yep. of a sudden you buy a new planter. Well, they don't even, a lot of times, they don't even talk to you. Well, do you want to put insecticide boxes on? That's not even an option anymore. It's, <laughs> oh, oh, you want insecticide boxes? What do you want that for? <laughs> yep. It's weird. It's one of those options that, really, you're going to take that? Yep. So here's what's happened now over the last few years. We have started to see rootworm resistance out there. And even though a lot of the seed companies are talking about the refuge in a bag stuff, you know, there's only a percentage of the market out there that has Smart Stacks corn. So even if you're thinking, I'm going to get refuge in the bag for all my farm, do you have it ordered yet? Have you taken it on your farm? then I don't think you're going to get it. You better get that done right now with your seed dealer. Okay, so maybe you get the Smart Stacks thing done. Even there on our farm, we're using a half rate of insecticide because we're not taking any chances. When you start going for big time yields, you can't have insects hurting well, your roots. And here's the other thing, is the insects have to take a bite out of the root to ingest right. that protein that they can't digest, and then the insect eventually dies. But they have to take a bite out of your root. If you've got heavy rootworm pressure, like I know we do around our farm, we just can't afford to have that much feeding on our roots. Yes, those insects will die, but at the cost of how many of our roots? I'd rather put even a half rate of insecticide out there to kill 60, 70 percent of those rootworms before they take a bite. Now there's only just a few bites coming out of our root system, and that's probably not as big a deal. All right, so we have talked about this issue even on recent shows here on Ag PhD. What we wanted to get into today is be a little more specific on which insecticides a farmer could use and where the strengths and weaknesses are for the different insecticides. So let's start with the dry products. On average, the dry products are going to be better for rootworm control than the liquid products. The best ones for across the board control seem to be Force and Aztec, so let's start there. All right, when you think about Force insecticide, it is a pyrethroid, 100% pyrethroid. And the pyrethroids, again, are a synthetic version of the poison found in the chrysanthemum flower. So they're pretty safe for humans. We love Force, it does a great job. And the other thing about it is it's the lowest use rate dry. It's been fantastic. For years, it was much lower use rate than what Lohr's Man so was. So 30 inch and rows. lower use rate than Aztec. Yeah, so 30 inch rows, we're talking 4.3, 4.4 right in there. And with this force, if possible, we like to see it in a T-band. So you're putting the insecticide down right before the closing wheel. So a little bit gets in the furrow and some is on top. That's the method we prefer because force has activity in cutworms, has activity in rootworms. We like spreading a little bit throughout that whole root zone. Okay, now we said force is probably the safest. Aztec is equally as good in performance in the field by our estimation and also by university trials for the last couple of decades. It has mostly organophosphate in it, but it does have some pyrethroid too. So it's one of those things where it's got two different modes of action, which I like. And so Aztec's a nice product. It does a good job on rootworm control. Maybe not quite as good on the cutworms as what the force is, but it still does get the cutworms too. So I, I like that one too, Brian, for a dry product. Yeah. Now Fortress, what do you think about Fortress, Darren? Well, Fortress is an organophosphate it is much more dangerous than what Aztec and especially Force are. For that reason, I do say, you know, use some caution on it. Now, normally it comes at a little lower price point, but you'll have to see what your dealer has for pricing yeah, on that. It's probably not the best product for rootworms, but it's not bad. It doesn't have a lot of cutworm control. Another product that doesn't have a lot of cutworm control is Counter. Counter is one of the better ones for rootworms, and the nice thing with Counter is it's also a nematicide. Now, when we think about Lorsban, historically that's been a lower priced option. It's an organophosphate. It does a nice job on control. Probably not quite as good as what we see out of the Force and Aztec, but it's pretty close. And if you're into some of the Dow programs, or maybe you're planting mycogen seed, there may be some deals or some incentives to use lures. Okay, getting into the liquid products, Regent used to be a pretty popular one. That's kind of gone by the wayside now. And really about the only good one we've got at this point that I can think of off the top of my head here is Capture LFR. And you can buy Capture, you can buy generic versions of Capture. Capture LFR is liquid fertilizer ready. And since most farmers like to mix the insecticide with fertilizer, that I mean, we still don't recommend that. We'd rather see you keep the two separate. But if you want to put it with fertilizer, 
stabilizer, the Capture LFR does seem to mix a lot better. So for any of these products that we're talking about here, the price range is roughly $10 to $15 an acre for the full rate. Certainly you can use a reduced rate if you're using smart stacks or maybe even VT3 is working pretty well in your area. Maybe only you wanna use a quarter rate or a half rate of insecticide. But all I can tell you is on every single acre of corn that we farm, whether it's continuous corn or first year corn, we're using at least some rate of insecticide. You know, there are so many things that farmers have to be concerned about, but let's not forget weeds are very, very important. We'll show you how to control this tough weed coming up next.